Uh, I see you've constructed a new lightsaber. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Looks like your training's complete. Yeah, but I can't seem to get it to work for some reason. Yeah, uh, what kind of kyber crystals are you using? Kyber crystal? Yeah, kyber, you know, the thing that generates the power to run the lightsaber. I was just using a nine volt. <laughs> nine volt? Who uses a nine volt? She's been around for a long time. She's she's witnessed, you know, like uh, she's been she's been aware of, you know, the the kind of the fan base that Star Wars has. Um, but there's a lot of noise right now about having her fired mm -hmm. due to who knows why, because certain people are just unhappy, and honestly, lots of hate thrown around everywhere. Yeah, there's just so much negativity with that. I think in general everywhere, but yeah, I mean. Star Wars, like the, the super fans, mm -hmm. are upset because they don't like the direction that she's taken. Yeah. Um, the, the, the right is upset because they feel like it's just all social justice like service, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the left is upset because she's all about like female empowerment and yet we still don't even have a female director on any of these movies. Right. We are just like, okay, we have a strong female lead, big deal. Mm -hmm. Everybody on every side hates her. She's got no, no support anywhere. There's a lot of speculation after Solo didn't do well that they were not going to make the Obi-Wan movie, sure. Boba Fett. It seems that a lot of those movies that supposedly were in the works were mm -hmm. never really in the works. It was just, maybe they should make that. You know, a lot of fans are also saying that, you know, no one asked for a Han Solo movie. I'm like, is that true? I sent a letter yeah. to Santa. <laughs> I said, dear Santa, this is 1988. I yeah. said, can you make... A Han Solo movie, that would be great. I also love Indiana Jones. Don't make four parts. Sincerely. Mm. In 1988 you did this? This guy, yeah. So in preparation for Last Crusade, yeah. you were like, Dear Santa, yes. I would really love a new Indiana Jones movie, but yes. just one movie, yes. not an extra not two. two, just one. The I'm not greedy. <laughs> the year is 1988. The year is 1988. I am nine years old. Please make another Indiana Jones movie, but not two, especially if it involves aliens. I think Disney was banking on a couple of things. Number one, you have the merchandise. They bought it for the merchandise, let's be honest. They knew they could, they'll figure out, we'll crank out some films and that'll be huge too, but they bought it for the merchandise and for the tie-in with the, the theme parks, right? That's what they bought it for. And then the films, I think, it, like, look, we'll figure it out. This is easy. They think it's formulaic, which in, in a sense it kind of is. It's Star Wars. There's a formula. There's certain things they have to do. There's certain things they can't do. So I think the, the films for them were just an afterthought. They're like, we'll figure it out. We'll get some really good directors. We'll look at what George Lucas did, what people didn't like about the prequels, and we'll make sure we don't do that. And they've, for the most part, avoided those pitfalls of not having good, uh, you know, um, a good looking set or, or, or practical sets, bad acting or bad directing. You know that generational thing where you, know, like you hear your folks say like, you know, in my day, mm -hmm. movies were so much better because of X and X reasons, I've right? I've heard this. And so we say the same thing. I say it all the time. We're like, you know, our movies were so much better than what's coming out now. Maybe what's happening is that we are in that flux, that transition of People who are making these films are making them for a younger generation who doesn't care about episodes four, five, and six, mm -hmm. has heard things about one, two, and three, and is just like, yeah, I mean, they're fine. Yeah, it's for the kids. And they are making for a new group of people, and perhaps they, yeah, perhaps they don't care about these so-called fans. I don't think so. So. I think the six to eight year olds are, are gonna love all these movies and they're gonna yeah. grow up with them and they're gonna be like, oh my God, I can go to Disney and see these too? Yeah. Luke will be back and I think he's gonna be in it as long as Yoda was in it in, in part eight, mm -hmm. a couple minutes. I don't think he's gonna have a big, big thing, but he'll, they'll, they'll again, cram him back in there. <laughs> he's gonna be hanging out with uh, a, I was gonna say space ghost, but the force ghosts of uh, Obi Wan and Yoda—they're all gonna be at the bar with his dad, played by young Hayden. Hayden Christensen might be in it. That's what they're saying, actually. 
I haven't heard that. I've, I've heard this. He would be really popular if they put him in it um, because they, they actually, they want him to redeem himself. They want him to redeem his <laughs> acting job. I'm not even joking. I think fans are like, man, he was so bad, but it may not be his fault. Everyone blamed Lucas because he doesn't know how to direct. Um, so I think the odds of Hayden being in it are pretty good. And we may get a really good performance out of him, which would, again, just totally redeem that original ending and performance that people complained about and are still complaining about. I hear Lando's going to be back. Thank God. Wow. No, they've said that for every film, though. What, I, Lando? I read an article about Lando coming back, and then I read an, an article after that about uh, about people saying Lando's going to come back for every movie, and he never does. I don't know. Uh, people seem to like the Lando character in the solo movie. He was like the most popular one, even more so than the solo character. Mm -hmm. They might uh, shoehorn him in there. I don't know how Billy Dee's doing these days. He's, uh, He's you know, a little long in the tooth, yeah. I'd say. Um, how are they going to explain uh, Carrie Fisher's absence? <sighs> that is a good question. I don't know. I feel like they had an opportunity to do it in part two, but they didn't take it, probably out of respect because she was newly deceased. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's really only a few routes you could take, like either CGI. I heard that they weren't going to do that. Okay, or um, you just write her off and be like, oh, yeah, remember her? Well, you won't be seeing her around anymore. They did have an out for part two. Yes, but they didn't use it. They didn't use it. I, I think that that could have gone in a very, uh, it could have been very tasteful. You know? Yeah. Like she could have been in that coma. She could have sacrificed herself. Sure. You yeah. take care of that big loophole about the whole f <laughs> what's it called? Uh, the the uh, exhaust thermal, pipe? Yeah, the exhaust pipe. <laughs> Why are you handing me about the tractor beam? <laughs> He's got a tractor beam, he can't fix your thermal exhaust? What's wrong with you? So you're saying that the guy that invented it, which we understand who it now is Now that we know, because yeah. Disney told us. The whole, the whole shebang, right? He did it on purpose. And it's like, no one figured this out in the construction of it? No, no. one at all? No. Like the it was Emperor. Wookiees. Wookiees built the, the Death Star. Oh, okay. And they were they're like, to <laughs> 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 keep it a secret. They don't I, they don't want to be there. I, I like guess slave labor. Probably. But even Vader, with all of his knowledge and foresight, oh, about everything, he doesn't care. And he's just like he's like, <sighs> yeah, this is fine. I sense a disturbance in the exhaust pipe. The <laughs> Emperor will just be happy we saved fifteen percent on labor. <laughs> Beta. <laughs> the exhaust pipe. Um, Beta, did you fix the exhaust pipe? For the last time! Yeah, I mean, yes! <laughs> it's, Maybe. It's been fixed. <sighs> it's on the list. <laughs> it's a very long list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.